Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today I'm going to be sharing my final review and wrap up of the Yarn and Stitches Yarn of the Month subscription box. So, if you are not familiar with my review series, for three months, I will get a subscription box. I will work projects using the yarn. If they provide a pattern, I do my best to try to use the pattern provided by the company. And I will use the yarn, make projects. We come back, we discuss whether or not the like retail versus cost for the box is worth it. What my thoughts were as a whole in what we got where is the value, where is maybe not a value in some of these subscription boxes. So I am 100% paying for this on my own. This is something I spent my money on. So this isn't in any way, shape or form a sponsored review. This is just, I went out and picked a box. So if you might Miss the first three episodes of this review. This is the Yarn and Stitches review box. It comes in multiple sizes. I got the biggest of all of them, which is two skeins of yarn plus extras plus bonus extras. There is just one skein of yarn, just two skeins of yarn, just ex uh, just yarn and extras, two skeins and extras. So there's this is like the luxury plus. There will be a dis uh, link in the description box as to where you can purchase this for yourself. If you are interested, it is a Crate Joy subscription. Uh, I had one question about that. I believe it was um, after I unboxed month two's box and they were wondering how Crate Joy works. It, it It's just a holding place for companies to offer their subscription box. It's a little bit more visible than them offering it on their own website and as they can do the repeat billing every month, it makes it a lot easier for the vendors to use Crate Joy to do that. Um, I've talked to dyers and sellers that do subscription boxes and it's very difficult to set up the auto draft system. And depending on who does your storefront or finances, you may or may not be able to do that as an auto draft. The purchaser may have to do it monthly in approval. So there, there's nothing weird about Crate Joy. Crate Joy is a reputable business. I've purchased multiple subscription boxes for this review series actually over the last five years, four years, however long I've been doing this. I say, I've been here for four years and I did it at the last house. So I may be hitting six years this year. That's kind of scary. Uh, anyway, all that being said, Crate Joy's just a, a hub for subscription boxes. They're they're perfectly reputable and safe to use. There's no problem with Crate Joy. Um, yarn and stitches specifically. So the cost ranges from twenty eight dollars and fifty cent a month to sixty five dollars and fifty cent a month. Um, month one, what we received was this Northern Lights yarn. And I do apologize, I have not completed this project. I wanted to get this review up before the next box starts, but this is the project I chose to work on this. It's a beautiful lace pattern shawl. I still have my lifelines in there, obviously. But it's two skeins of mulberry silk in this beautiful Northern Lights color. I'm alternating skeins, which is why they're both attached to the project. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting any kind of pooling on this. Um, I've got extra stuff that got dropped into my box, apparently. We got a needle case. We got a stitch marker that fits with the Northern Lights Aurora Borealis theme. We got a chocolate that I still apparently forgot to give my husband. And we got a button badge for the club. Yarn and Stitches, Yarn of the Month Club. The fiber is 100% mulberry silk. Where's my ball band, actually? Apparently, I moved my ball band out of... I have each month in a different box. Apparently, I moved it out of the box because... Um... 
100% mulberry silk, blah, 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 blah. Died by Zippy Zebra this month, month one. This was January. And I did not miss anything. Okay. So the regular subscribers will get yarn and a stitch marker. Then it's plus the extras. That's what it is. All right. So there was nothing else on there that was uh, shareable or, or part of this. So anyway, gorgeous yarn. Absolutely loving my project with this. It's just, it is fingering weight yarn. It has been taking me a little bit of time to really like sit down and get moving on it. I've also had some dexterity issues over the last couple months that have prevented me from being able to do quite as much with tiny needles as I would have preferred to do. But I absolutely love it. 100% gorgeous. Very much in my color palette wheelhouse. As I've told you guys before, pink, purple, and blue, definitely my wheelhouse. When you look at my yarn collection, you see a lot of those colors showing up over and over and over again. So definitely was very happy. So the estimated retail value, if I were to go out and purchase all of this by itself on my own, was $83.75. So month one, we had a 22% savings in our subscription box, which I think that was a pretty decent deal. I did, I believe I purchased this pattern, but the pattern I've been doing is the Faded Morning Shawl by the Chesapeake Needle. So that's, that's the shawl pattern that I'm doing. This uh, collection does not come, or this kit does not come with its own uh, pattern. So I was on my own to pick patterns, which is perfectly fine for me. So I'm going to set this aside. That way I'm less likely to knock things over, like my coffee. Which let's take a... I mean, even, okay, so this is a custom-made coffee cup. I chose the colors. <laughs> when I say I'm really into pink, purple, and blue, I really mean, like, that is just my go-to color, color palette. So, month two, and I always get the dyer for month two wrong. I don't know why. It's untangled yarn. So, the... I still have not reached out and asked any questions. I try to go into these as blind as anybody else would to purchase something like this. And so I ask no questions. They do appear to be alternating these two dyers every single month. So I'm not sure if like they're in this together, if somebody has decided to organize this. I'm asking no questions. I kind of like it that way. So I did, this, this was a... The colorway was Love Story, which is book one of the storybook collection from Untangled Yarn. Highly recommend going to check that out. This was 100% Superwash Merino, bulky weight yarn, 109 yards, 100 grams. That's what I have left. Both of my skeins or hanks had stitch markers attached to them, which I'm not complaining, but I do think that was an accident. And this one is particularly cool because we had the lobster class and the knitter's hook. So you could use it as a stitch marker or a progress keeper. So I really like that. I had never seen that before in a stitch marker, but we do have two of these. Pull out the... A little bit from the dyer. Stitch marker. This month we also had gotten a tote for the club. And we got a fabric stitch marker, handmade fabric stitch marker. And we got some chocolates, which apparently, once again, I have forgotten to give to my husband. I'm not quite sure why. And I'm also not sure why my chow goo thing is in here. So I did finish projects with this. They have been blocked. I have not finished weaving it in the ends, but I have a little ear warmer here and there's a little lace pattern in that. And the lace pattern is the same one I used in the cowl. I should have been smarter about this and done the ear warmer than the cowl. Then the cowl could be as long as the ear warmer, but 
it's fine. So we have this beautiful open lace work pattern. And then I just did a basic seam up the back because once it's on and folded over, you're never going to see that seam back there. But these both were blocked over the weekend. So we, that's ready to go. All I have to do is weave in the ends. So the pattern I use for this is based on the Northern Loops by... I think I've said this before. I'm going to mispronounce that name. And this was a free pattern. Once again, we're in the Carrie Wheelhouse of Colors. It was Valentine, so we kind of had a beautiful little theme going there. It was very sweet with a floral bookmark, the colors of the yarn. Everything has a very sweet, cute theme to it. Once again, very, very happy with the yarn. Let's be honest, the most important thing in the box is definitely the yarn. It was super soft, super squishy to work with. I didn't have any issues with burrs, anything caught in the wool. Once again, the yarn base that was used to dye is a beautiful quality, absolutely smooth and slippery, and it's going to be amazing to be able to wear that next winter. It has already, like today's going to be 80. We ha still having some lows, maybe in the 20s and 30s, but most of our highs have been 60 plus, so I'm not wearing a whole lot of hats. I am still wearing ear warmers, so in the morning. It's a very fresh hot cup of coffee. It's still very early in the morning. So the total retail, estimated retail value of everything in that box is $73. Once again, I paid $65.50 a month for that. So that gave us an 11% savings for that month. On to month three, we got a beautiful baby alpaca in a chain there were minis and a little mini chain. Absolutely adorable. The theme was macaron. Five mini skeins of luxurious baby alpaca sports weight, 58 yards, 20 grams, hand dyed by the Zippy Zebra once again. I do have my, my tag for this one. Do, do, do. Trying really hard not to slosh things around. So we got three of these Tazo tees, which I ended up going ahead and saving for the purpose of the review box because I kept put, like just not going to open them. I would normally just leave the empty packet, excuse me, empty packet in here, but I decided not to, but these now get to go in my thing. As I had canceled my subscription, I did get a coupon if I chose to come back for another three to six months, which I greatly appreciated. Unfortunately, I cannot keep every single subscription box that we get that I like. It's just one of the sad parts with this. Even if I like it, I can't always justify keeping it. Otherwise, I'd have like 30 boxes by now. So we got a little macaron stitch marker holder. We got a tape measure with the emblem of the subscription box. And we got a little macaron stitch marker. Now this is one of my favorite themes is this is my favorite cookie too. So when we have gotten these before, um, we did get the larger version of the stitch marker thing. Um, when we did the Paris theme with yarn yay. So we have gotten these before. I love them. I think they're cute. They're personally something I really enjoy. My extras for this month's box that's all I had left over of the little mini skeins. And I used the pattern Sleeping Willow Shawl by Rachie Nguyen. Where is it? No, there's an H in there. Okay, R-A-C-H-Y. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see lots of pictures of this. And if you come back on Saturday for my show and tell that would have normally gone up today, but I'm a few days behind on getting my filming done this week, you will see other pictures and I will share more about the pattern and stuff like that there. As the purpose for this is to review the subscription box and how I felt about it. That's the purpose. So this is what I made. It is rather large. It is absolutely beautiful. I had intended to wear this to Mass on Easter and was hoping to get some pictures. 
However, it was 30 degrees and raining when we left for church and it was not due to be any warmer. So I ended up having to wear a completely different outfit than I had originally planned. But we have this beautiful pastel rainbow of colors. The only thing I will say I noticed with this, mine perfectly seemed to match and dye a lot except for the greens. So there, because I got the two skeins, I got two separate sets of the yarns. And in the greens, it's not really obvious, but one was slightly more saturated than the other. The same tone, same color, but there was more of the natural yarn kind of peeking through on one versus the other. And that happens with hand dyed yarns. And I've said this before, you know, use, that's why I'm alternating skeins on the first one. When something is hand dyed, the colors may be the same, but the way they appear on the yarn and the order they work up in may be different. So anything that is hand dyed or even industrial dyed made to look hand dyed, alternate the skeins if you can. This was a project where it really didn't matter to alternate skeins, so I did not. I am pleased with my blocking. Look at how close to perfect I got. I am within an inch of having that triangle perfectly match up. I am very pleased with that. That is not normally the case when I block a triangle shawl, especially one that's knit from one side moving out. I was very pleased with how that turned out. So, Baby alpaca obviously is not um, the world's most inexpensive fiber. So the value for this, I did do my final um, estimate based on her estimated retail, which was a little bit more than the average estimated retail, but that still means it was within the zone of what I used to average things together. Um, so her, uh, the estimated value of March's box total using Zippy Zebra's final, uh, final cost was $81 and 75 cent, which meant that we had 25% savings for the third month. So all in all, the total estimated retail value of this is $238 and 50 cent. The actual cost for the luxury plus box, like I said, it's $65 and 50 cent a month. For the three-month plan was $196.50, which gave us an average of 21% off across all three months, and we had $42 in total savings. So enough to buy two skeins of like month two's yarn. So what how do I think about this? A, I love the yarns. All three months, they were absolutely beautiful. I was a little upset I did not get April's box. But that's, like I said, that is the that that is the travesty that is doing a review. Eventually, the review has to come to an end, and I, I can't keep every box I review. As much as I would love to, I just, my, my pocketbook is not that large. Um, there were some of the extras that... You know, I'm not a huge fan of the thin tote or the button badge. Uh, those to me are things that have no monetary value. They're things when you go to a trade show or a convention, you expect to get for free. Um, that's the kind of thing that at a vendor show, they're handing out with their logo on it saying, here, take it. Same thing with the um, tape measure. However, when you are getting really nice yarns like the alpaca and the mulberry silk, your value's really in that yarn. It's not in the extras. The extras are just that. They're just extras. On months where you're just getting a beautiful merino wool, I understand. I do. It, it, it's... Being small businesses, and I said this at the beginning of this review series, you know, these are indie dyers. These are small businesses. I don't expect 
the sun, moon, and stars. Like if this were a big box yarn company and that's what I was getting, I'd be disappointed as far as the extras go with the exception of the stitch markers because all of those are absolutely beautiful and I will totally use those. And almost all of them have the little, um, or half of them have the extra light bulb pin, which yay, free stitch marker for me because I love using those in my knitting. But from an independent yarn company and indie dyers, smaller companies, I don't mind receiving these things as part of my extras because they are extras. As the cost for this to just get the yarn and the stitch marker, I think is very reasonable. I would probably, if you're more into the yarn, look to the yarn subscription only. If you want extras that you may or may not like every month, go ahead and get the plus boxes. Now, if I were to get this for myself and keep it for myself, I think, to be honest, I would go ahead and do the double skein every month if my budget would allow that. And just do the skeins with the stitch marker and not do the extras for this box. But because they have the option to be able to pick and choose which kind of subscription you would like, I think that's wonderful. Now, that be, having been said, the extras that we received are all useful. They're not unuseful items. There are things I will definitely be using. I've told you guys over and over again, you know, I keep things like this in, you know, I have 25 little project bags that have my little notions. I'm always in need for tape measures to put in those bags. So this is something that is 100% useful, will be used again. Same thing with the stitch markers. You know, I'm always going to use the stitch markers. I love little blocks and I'm not opposed to tea. I love tea. I drink tea in the evening most of the time. So, you know, these kind of things for me are great. I love them. Do I need to spend money on more of them? Probably not. So for me, I would say just based on the yarn, these are th this is a box that's 100% worth it. It's beautiful yarn. Every single month I got it. They there we had wool, we had alpaca, and we had mulberry silk. So we got a nice variety of yarns and different qualities of luxury to the yarn. I love alpaca. I love mulberry silk. I love a good wool. So I I, I would say they're beautifully dyed, beautiful bases, great choices. The box as a whole is definitely worth it. If you were not into extras though. There is a, an option for you with this box in getting just the yarn with the stitch marker. So I genuinely appreciate the thought. All of the themes are beautiful. The, the coordination amongst the themes were absolutely spot on. There are certain things that for me, I do have preferences for though. And I, I can't, if you've seen any of my review series, other boxes before, you know, kind of where I come down on these. I'm trying to be positive about these things, though, because not everybody has had 30 years of knitting and crocheting and building a stash of these things either. So if you're looking to expand your notions, this would be a good option for you if you just want to experience beautiful yarns. This is an excellent, you know, there. this is an excellent option for that as well as long as you pick the right box for you. And the fact that they thought about that and have the option of the different boxes, that gives them like 10 points right out of the gate for me because I love having options, especially as I'm reviewing these, because I can tell you this is what it's good for. This is what it's not good for. This is who this is for. This is who this is not for. And I never have to like don't get this box. It's not worth the money. If everything in here obviously is worth the money, we have a very good balance to the ratio. If this were a big box, you know, company, a larger company, I would say I would expect to see 25% off no hemming and hawing because it's an indie company. These are small batch dyers. This is not, they don't have the overhead to be able to do that necessarily. Like I said, I'd still like to see, you know, around 15% off I'm taking the risk with my money and purchasing a subscription box because I don't know if I'm going to like it month to month. You know, this was a month where the colors are perfectly me all three months. That's great. If I had gotten terracotta and army green, though, 
I might feel a little bit differently because those aren't my colors and those aren't things I normally gravitate towards. So it is a risk with my money. So I would still like to see, you know, a good discount, but we are at 21%, which I think is excellent for an indie small batch dyers. I have to say, I give, I would give this subscription box four out of five stars as far as like my personal satisfaction, how I feel like the three months have gone. The projects were a dream to work on. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my post about finishing up the macaroons uh, shawl. You know, it was the perfect project at the perfect time with the perfect yarn. And, you know, I was really spending the last month sinking in and enjoying the process with this. It was a shame for it to be over. I really enjoyed working on the shawl and it was my little bit of to the end of every day. So I four out of five stars, guys. I'm I I I don't know what else to say. I, I want to sit here and keep babbling at you, but I'm not gonna say anything I haven't already said at this point. So I definitely have to say four out of five stars. The yarn in particular is gorgeous. I'm loving the dyeing and every month you get like a little preview of the theme. If you go to Create Joy, I really wish I could have pulled those pictures off month to month so I could show you what the theme was for the next month, but they don't allow picture copying. So I can't like copy and paste the pictures. So, and like I said, I don't want to reach out to the dyers or the companies specifically as I'm doing the review, because I want this to be as unbiased as possible, even though I did have communications with Zippy Zebra and the Instagram of Yarn and Stitches. I've given them permission to share my stuff. Somebody did say, I saw where they were tagging you in the... They have my permission to share the reviews. This is for public consumption. Um, they are referring everything back to my Insta and my YouTube. So that's we're good. Um, but until I shared the first pictures of my Northern Light shawl as I was started working on that, I, you know, and we've not continued communicating since then. So nobody knew who I was till I started this review series. I like to keep the, the slate as clean as possible as we move into these just so I can give you as much of an unbiased, unemotional review of these as possible. But four out of five stars, guys. It's really nice, really beautiful. Hopefully this weekend will be warm enough. I can wear what I had planned on wearing for Easter. <laughs> I would have frozen to death if I had stuck with my original plan. So I ended up having to go with like the cardigan over everything with a jacket and which is the right call because it was a little cold in the church too. Nobody expected it to be that cold Sunday morning. All right, you guys. Y'all have a wonderful, fantastic day. As always, I love you. I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Look in the description box. There will be links to the Zippy Zebra, Untangled Yarn, and the Yarn and Stitches Club on Crate Joy. None of those are affiliate links. They're just... I look forward to seeing you with our next review. As always, I love you. Take care.